Hey Red Wing fans, how's it going? What we have here is uh, the Red Wing 919. The 919 basically is the original lineman, but it's got some pretty cool features. It appears to have a pre-Klondike, meaning pre-Klondike, meaning that this was the original Klondike, I suppose. Uh, I don't know if, if you are not familiar with the Klondike leather, it's basically brown leather that has been um, painted or dyed from the outside, I suppose, but not dyed from the, well, actually it is dyed to the inside too, but somehow it still has kind of some brown undertones, because I can look right here, and this is brown, but then, then I guess, yeah, and even this edge right here is brown, so, but if you look inside here, it's black. So anyway, it still has some patina going through, a little bit of brownish. And so I'm just going to show you how I lace these things up quick, since sometimes you don't get to see those lacing videos. That's not that quick. <laughs> these are smaller uh, speed hooks from the originals. They're a little bit shorter. They're smaller, so they don't catch as easily. The, uh, the newer speed hooks they're a lot bigger and they catch real fast so but these are kind of like posts they're very trim and slimline so little thing about these uh, I got these because well there's a, a homage and it was like a reissue of these 919's and they were they're called uh, 4328's and they were I think released in uh, and I'm not sure if I forget I think it's um it was in Amsterdam, I believe. I was, average, I, was, I was able to grab some still. They shipped them. I think they gave free shipping. And the exchange rate was really good. And I think they were on sale too at the same time. So I was able to get the original Indigo Farah reissue uh, collaborations that were basically, a, a, like I said, it's a homage to these 919s. So rather than using those indigo ferrous and getting, uh, you know, messing them up, you know, breaking them in. I just thought, well, I'll just wait for some of these 919s. And they were previously broken in, obviously, so they were nice. Uh, these are 9Es, a little bit too much room for me, but not bad because you can cinch them up, but it's, it's actually nice. It's a nice feel, but I'm just not used to so much toe room. So the cool thing about these uh, uh, 919s is they came with this green sole. Let's see if I can show it. It's a green a nitrile cork. Pretty cool, right? Nitrile cork, green. So that's, I'm sure that was just, I was told that these were, um, the green was to signify that they could be, um, they're basically uh, electrical resistance or, you know, if you step on something, a hot electrical wire, I guess it's, it's supposedly this, maybe you won't get shocked, I don't know. But that's why it was green. The green was some indicator and it even came with the green uh, block heel got a little bit of a wedge in here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Uh, yeah, right there. It's a bit of a wedge, so kind of tilts forward a little bit, but not too bad. But the uh, I, I did a, a video on the 4328 Indigo Ferra collaborations, and yeah, they're just, I'm, uh, you know, I got them for a pretty good deal. I could flip them for a pretty good price, so I figured I don't need to break it. And they are super, super stiff. Oh my gosh. So I didn't want to break those in. I just figured, well, I wanted to, and they came with a uh, chemi gum. So you could just watch that video and see what the chemi gum looks like. But it's, uh, it's the closest thing to the nitro. I guess maybe, I don't know if the Red Wing still has the nitro, the green nitro. Maybe that's why they went to the chemi gum. They have the green chemi gum. And you'll look at that. It's very similar to the nitro, but it has some little, a different pattern, little tread design. This is, these are smooth, of course. Nitro corks are just smooth. And uh, so that's the difference, basically. Here. So those uh, Indigo Ferra 4328s, they're a homage for these 919s. It's like a reissue. And um, I believe it was uh, Amsterdam that got them. I don't remember. I got them online. And like, like I said, I was pretty fortunate. They shipped them all the way to the United States. Pretty sure I got free shipping. I thought I was pretty impressed. And uh, um, the exchange rate was better for us. So we maybe I might have got like a 10, 20, 30% you know, discount. I forgot what it was. I know it, when I punched in the the numbers, it actually was a pretty decent price. It was not the same as whatever their um, their uh, de name, denomination is. I'm not even sure what the name of their denomination is. But so these are kind of cool. You know, they're 
retro, broken in, uh, old school, original. They have the speed hooks. These speed hooks are just a little speed hooks. They're just not as easy to, you saw me trying to do it, right? It just doesn't catch as easily unless you get at the right angle. But good enough. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the, of the uh, lineman look. You know, this, this, I just like, you know, mock toes and I like regular round toe. And I like, uh, yeah, that's what I generally like. So, but these are cool. They're, they're a little more subtle. They don't look like those bowling shoes where they're laced all the way down to the toe, which I kind of think they're kind of goofy looking. But that's just my opinion. I mean, some people really like that, that look. But it's a little too, uh, like, bowling shoe for me. But these are cool, yeah. They're, uh, they're the real deal. And uh, you know what? And they're cool because they're soft toe. I believe those Indigo Ferros are, 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 uh, are steel toe, but I, I don't remember now. I have to check those out maybe. Look at them again, but yeah, the 919s. So get a snag a pair. They're um, they're basically the original, the original lineman, and 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 it, and it, it feels like and it looks like it has the the um, Klondike leather because I see the brown coming through, and the cool green soles. These soles are kind of kind of dark, so they're they're not as um, prominent. You can't really tell they're green, but yeah, pretty comfortable. Again, a lot of toe room because they're 9Es. I normally wear a D. So yeah, these are pretty, pretty. They're broken in nicely. Not too bad on the heels. You know, not too much slant. Can't get that in there. Yeah, they weren't worn out too bad. Even though these seem like they've had good wear. But yeah, the cool nitrile cork green sole. That's what attracted me to. That's a kind of a unique. It's a nice look. And uh, if you can tell, I haven't relaced them at all. I didn't. I didn't. I usually remove laces and redo it because I like to go from left over right or left under right, so right over left and then I usually do um, I usually do it on top also. If you notice this is right at the very beginning they start from the bottom. I don't like that. It just looks weird to me. I guess I grew up I don't know if the shoe companies did them with on top first or whatever but I'm just used to having it on top. It's not a big deal but it just looks good. So I, I haven't relaced these yet. I'll probably do it after the video. But I just want to show you guys another uh, Another cool boot, it's the Red Wing 919. Trying to look it up, see if you can grab a pair. I've seen some pretty decent pairs. I saw another 9E, just, um, it was on eBay, I think for one, 200 plus, like 20, 20 or $30 shipping. So 230 plus eBay's wonderful 8% uh, tax. So 8% of 200 would be about another 16 to $18, maybe $16, 8% 8 yeah, eight times 200. I don't know if they charge the tax on the shipping too, but yeah, they're ripping <laughs> buyers, right? 8% and we'll get this. And even the sellers, us sellers, we get 13%. Hey, that's awesome. And then uh, Uncle Sam, or you want to call uh, Uncle Biden, <laughs> and now he wants, he wants uh, his cut also. If you sell over $600 in the calendar year, $600 is your is the, um, the threshold. If you go over $600 on eBay, they're going to send you a 1099K and you have to report anything over $600. Not just a one $600 one time, but $600 total. That's if you sell gross $600. So I'm way over the limit. I've sold a ton of Red Wings already in the last two months, probably maybe, I don't know, a couple grand worth. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in the hole with Uncle Sam, Uncle Biden. In his administration. It used to be twenty thousand. You believe that? If you were selling less than twenty thousand dollars worth of merchandise on eBay, they wouldn't give you any, any. Uh, they wouldn't come after you. But now they're dropping it to six hundred. Well, whatever. It's good. I want to live in America, so I got to do what I got to do. Can't be cheating, right? Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I uh, hope you like these nine one nines. Look them up. They're pretty cool.